Okay, well, I'm going to try to explain um, Joomla a little bit further. Well, an introduction, I guess. Um, this is my Joomla site. Uh, it's my website. It's based off a Joomla template, which you can modify, edit, and all that stuff. But you need to know how to modify it, of course. Um, if you haven't installed already, uh, you'll, you'll get this. Um, <clears throat> this page with all the you know tools and everything you can do with Joomla, but I'm gonna try to explain to you, um, say like the back end of it, like where all the pages are set up and everything. Um, if you went through my first tutorial about where the pages were set up, like there was a path that you know you set up your uh, all your files and everything to. This is a different section where the databases are created. Uh, I have GoDaddy, so all the hosting and everything's through GoDaddy. So I'm just gonna, you know, go to, you know, you sign in GoDaddy, you go to hosting, and then manage account, and then this pops up. It's called the Hosting Control Center. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so you're gonna click databases up here in MySQL. Just don't click on databases. Then click on MySQL. Oops. You have oh, well, I have a couple of databases set up, so I'm just gonna show you the one that was set up through uh OEMO. Um, right here I have a Wemo. This is the name of the database and then um, the description is Joomla because it's created with Joomla and then you know if you want to see the rest of the properties just click on this pencil icon here. thing about this for some reason it takes a long time so I generally don't like to click on that stuff just get straight to the point but I'm just trying to show you this <clears throat> it's taking further okay while we're in this uh, menu I'm just gonna go through some of the layouts see here this is another OEMO um, this is my domain name, well, a Wemo site thing that I created with WordPress. But it's not overlapping and created a different database because um, I created a folder where all the WordPress... Never mind, I can't open the page. Well, I was going to say, I created a folder where all the um, WordPress documents and everything would be created and that's why it's not overlapping or anything like that. Uh, I think my server is down again. <laughs> okay. You know, generally doesn't do this with PCs for some reason. I've noticed I've had more server problems with my Mac than my PC, so just saying ever since I got this Mac, I mean everything works well, I mean it's new and everything, it's faster, but like when it comes to, you know, Dreamweaver and servers and websites and stuff, but it's just it's just easier to use a PC. Anyway, and go back to this database. My SQL and then I'm not even gonna click here because it just took too long. Okay, so you go to Joomla, right? I mean, sorry, the name of your database. And if you set it up through GoDaddy and everything, um, it creates the name for you. So you're just gonna have to remember that name and click Open Manager. Continue. If you don't remember what, um, username you put for your domain name and everything just
click on setup, okay? Hopefully it won't stall out on me again. So here's your host name, here's the database name, and then the username, I wonder why. Username is this. Go to Open Manager. That's your username. And then you're going to type in the password. Okay, so now you're in the database. Um, <clears throat> here are all your tables and everything. Okay. So let's just go through the structure a little bit.